Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And today's topic is fades, frame losses, and holds when it, when it comes to spectrum receivers using the Ethos operating system. So any radio like this uh, Tandem XE or the uh, Tandem X20 or the X18, or even a twin light series of radios, um, this video applies to you. Now, in order to use spectrum receivers, um, with your radio, you need the IRX4 multi-protocol module that's plugged into the back of my um, radio. And if you guys want, um, I do have videos on setting up the IRX4 mod uh, module. And I also have videos on um, Spectrum, specifically in how to bind and set up with Spectrum. But with version 1.5 of software or firmware uh, for your radio, it now allows telemetry. And I want to go over telemetry. I thought it was a good time to show you how telemetry works with Spectrum, which is a little bit differently than the way FreeSky and other manufacturers do telemetry. So if you look over here, this plane is hooked up and bound and it's working, but it says zero dB. And that's what you will see for Spectrum planes. And the reason why is because the way that they do um, telemetry um, RSSI kind of uh, signals, they do it a little bit different. We're going to go over that. All right, so let's get, let's get into setting it up. And while I'm setting up um, the telemetry, I'll also show you what the different um, telemetry sensors are um, and what they do in regards to signal strength and stuff like that. So I'm going to go into model. So I'm going to hit the MDL button and I'll go, it's like the same as hitting the uh, airplane symbol over there. And if I hit the center jog button over here, I'll jog to the next page and I'll go to the telemetry section. Now over here it says discover new sensors. If you noticed over here, there's no sensors available. You need to do this. You need to discover your sensors first. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then over here, the first value that I see is transmitter RSSI. Now that's a very, very low value. I don't know if that's the, um, like if that pertains to the same thing as you know, what we know of um, RSSI when it comes to Free Sky World. Um, but the reason why it doesn't come up because that number is way too low. That would be like, you know, you would be looking at a plane that's about to go down. So, but we're going to talk about the way that they show that kind of information. And the first one over here is fades. So you see over here, it says six RXA fades and it's RXB, RXL, RXR. And then you have frame losses over here and holes. And those are the ones that we want to con concern ourselves with. The first one is fades. And what a fade is, is a loss of signal or loss of um, frame on one of the antennas. This particular plane only has one antenna. And because it only has one antenna, the other ones are grayed out, as you can see over there. Now, what that means is that I have lost signal or off frame. I've lost seven frames in the time that this plane has been on while I've been, I've been doing this. Now, that's not a big deal. The one that you're going to concern yourself with is holds. But let's just go over what these are. So RXA means antenna one, essentially, and the number of fades it has, it's seven fades. RXB would be, I guess, antenna two, then antenna three, and antenna four. I believe like if you have two dual antennas and you have a satellite, uh, receiver, that's where the other ones are. So what these are, are the different antennas. And what this number is down here, that's different than those, because I did say that those are frame losses. But this one says frame losses altogether. So what this means is if you have, say, you have two receive, uh, or two antennas, and one of them has um, uh, like maybe six fades and the other one has seven fades, then you only have six frame losses. And what, what it is, is if you have two antennas, and let's just say your plane's flying and it's got signal from on both antennas, you bank over and you turn. And when you bank over and turn, one of the antennas gets blanked out by say a battery or something, and that loses signal, but the other antenna does not. That does not count in total frame loss. So only when you've uh, lost signal or lost frames on all your antennas, which however many you have, does the frame loss uh, counter activate. So in other words, this particular plane only has one antenna. And since it only has one antenna, these numbers will be the same. So what we can do is we can set up, um, you know, a, um, a page that displays what these numbers are. But the most important number is down here, which is holds. And what a hold is, 
is essentially when you lose signal for at least 45 consecutive frames. And that's about equal to about a second. So if you lo lose 45 frames of, um, of information, in other words, you've lost signal all the way through for at least one second, this will pop out and go one, one hold. And so you will notice that. So a hold is actually noticeable when you hit your sticks, your, your model doesn't respond during that time. You probably have a hold. Hey guys, it is me in the future. I wanted to add one more point, which is fail safe. When your plane goes into a hold condition, it goes into fail safe and fail safe on spectrum receivers is set when you bind your plane. So in other words, if your elevator and your aileron trim is way off com compared to when you first set up your plane and you have to do a lot of trim, then rebind your plane so you can set your fail safe. And when your plane goes into a hold condition, it goes into fail safe. Okay, so the ones that are really important is holes. The rest of them over here, you can see this number is going up, going up, going up. Whoops. Um, but that number, you know, that's one frame in the thousands and th thousands that have been, you know, going through. So it's really not a big deal to lose a frame here and there. So if you lose, like, you can have a flight where in frame losses, you might have 200 frame losses or 100 frame losses, but zero holds. That means it's been doing its job. So it's lose a signal on one antenna. Let's say this had two antennas. You lose signal on one antenna, it goes to the other one. You only have a certain amount, but it's, it's really not a big deal. But the number you can serve yourself is consecutive frame losses, which are holds. So what we're going to do is we've got these now. So now we, we've hit that discover um, sensors. They're now on and they're now here. There's a bunch more other ones that this particular plane has. And you can play with those if you want. You can play, play with them the same way that I'm going to show you right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a display. So say on another page over here, I want to create a new page. And on that page, I want to do my, um, my, on this plane, I'm just going to do frame loss and holds because frame loss and fades because it's only one antenna is the same thing. So I'm just going to do one. So I'm going to go over here and see that plus symbol over there. I'm going to add a display and on this one, I think all I need is two, but yeah, let's just do two and change widget. Let's do a value, configure it. And the value that I want, the source will be telemetry. And the telemetry value that I want would be, now I might do a separate one. If I had two antennas, I might do uh, fades on antenna one and fades on antenna two, um, and then a frame loss one. Um, as well, but since this one only has one antenna, I'll just do frame loss and The next one I'm going to do holds so let's do a value and configure and it's going to be telemetry and Let's go ahead and do holds Okay, so now we have a page that we can reference by hitting this button to get from your main page. It'll go to the next page over there. And you can also swipe. So you can swipe across there. And now you see I've had 11 um, uh, frame losses, but zero holds. In other words, I've had signal this entire time and nothing that you would notice as bad. Okay, so now that we have the screen, the display, and this will tell us over here, let's go ahead and make a call out by hitting, like I say, this button over here, and it'll tell me 15 and zero or, you know, whatever. It'll tell me these two values. So the way to do that, is I want to go over here to model and I want to go to the next page. I can swipe across or I can press the center button. I'm going to press the center bu button and go to special functions. I'm going to create a new special function. Let's add one. And the action that I want to do is play audio. And the active condition is going to be which button do I want to hit? So I made these buttons my momentary switches and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So that now is the button. So when I hit that button, it'll play audio. It'll do the thing that I want. So I'm going to come down here and go add a new line and sequence. And over here, I'm going to go play value. And the source will be telemetry. There it is. And I'm going to come over here and choose 
frame losses. Okay, let's go back out and that's good. So now it'll tell me my frame loss when I hit this button. Oh, I think I have to enable it. There it is, disabled, enable. 16. There it is, so it's telling me 16 frame losses. Let's add a new line and let's play a value telemetry again. And let's do holds, which is the important one. Okay, so let's go, um, that's it. Let's go back and see in a sequence it does that. Now, one of the interesting things here is like right now, let's go ahead and play it. 17, zero. If I had the words frame loss and the words hold in my radio, I can like add those. But instead, I'm just going to get added like a, a pause between the two. So that way it's just a little bit more farther apart. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I'm going to go over here and add a, something in a sequence. And I want to add a wait duration of, say, half a second. I think that's more than enough. There it is. And over here, I see the wait duration is below. I want to do put it in between. So I want to go ahead and move that. And I'm going to move it up right there. There it goes. So now let's go ahead and play it. There it goes. So now I know that the first number is my frame loss and the, sec the second number is my hold and I'm actually waiting for that second number. If that first number was like above like 200, it might be an issue. Um, but besides that, I think it's gonna be fine for most flights. Zero. That's good. All right, so then you can use this, you can use, um, you can have a trigger warning so that when the holds get after a certain point, then it starts telling you what your frame losses are. But that's all in these sequences and these special functions and stuff. So. Um, you guys get the idea. Um, that's it uh, for this. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and um, comment on this video. Or, or if it's a little bit more in depth, you can email me at all.rc.air at gmail.com. Um, and I do try to get back to you. And if you guys have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see um, in the Free Sky series or anything else that you need help with, um, yeah, I'm, I'm open to it. So uh, please let me know. Um, and thank you very much. Go ahead and like and subscribe this video if you can. That does help the channel out. And have a good day, guys. Take care.